Hi everyone, Radhe Radhe. In this video, we're going to be talking about this concept that I learned yesterday. And uh, it's kind of uh, taken my life by storm since yesterday. I've used it in so many places when I've been discussing things with people. It's been phenomenal. So I went to this Vipassana meditation um, retreat in 2014, the 10-day retreat. And yesterday, um, a friend took me to this one-hour Vipassana meditation that happened in a nearby city. So I just decided to go. I mean, he was saying, let's go, let's go, let's go. Like, it'll be really good you're going to enjoy it and things like that I was like okay let me try you know so I went there and uh, it was okay uh, I'm more into the mantra meditation now and I'm more into a different kind of meditation although I do have a lot of respect and I do want to go back to attend a retreat because it was so so powerful for me last time so but I was like not I was it I was I had meditate I was meditating after a very long time and I was exhausted and I was didn't get sleep and whatever so I was like uh, I was not doing very well in the meditation but then at the end my friend was talking to the teacher and asking him about mantra meditation actually which is something that we're both interested in so we were talking about that he was talking about that and I was just listening in and uh, what the teacher said at the end was extremely powerful what he said and this can be applied to everything in life right like that's this is what I loved about it what he said is that the most important thing is not so there are multiple phases to the meditation one is like when you're sitting and you're able you're uh, able to just completely focus on whatever you're focusing on on your breath or, or on god or whatever you're focusing on you're able to completely focus on it the second is when you become aware that your thoughts have wandered and then the third is when you're bringing the thoughts back so which is the most important thing which is the most powerful thing in this situation um, everybody would think it is the stage one where you're actually focused when you're actually not having thoughts when you're actually like people are like yeah i succeeded in having a few three seconds of not having thoughts or uh, a minute of not having thoughts or 20 minutes of not having thoughts that's rare but like there are people like that too um so uh, what he said is that the most powerful stage is not stage one or stage two it is stage three when you bring yourself back into focus so it doesn't matter if, in fact, if you're bringing yourself back frequently, if your your thoughts are wandering a lot, that's a good thing. It's not a bad thing because you're bringing, you're getting more opportunities to bring yourself back. And that hit me. I was like, why is it not stage one? And then I realized that's true for anything in life because that's where the growth is. The growth happens on our growth edge. The growth happens when we are failing and we're bringing ourselves back to center. That is the true spot of growth. So I was um, very, very excited about that. And then I, the, the whole time I was like, yeah, that's that's exactly it. It's not when you f uh, fall, that's the problem or, or uh, that's uh, whatever. The, the thing is, when you bring yourself back from that fall, that's where like you can apply it to everything in life. It's when you bring yourself back to center, when you when you fall, that's OK. When life is going smooth, that's that's okay, but there's no growth there. When you fall, fine, you fall. But when you bring yourself back over and over and over and over and over again, you bring yourself back from whatever you're falling at. That's where the gold is. That's where the growth is. That's where your... Um, the, the best part of you lies is in bringing yourself back. So instead of, I mean, celebrate failures, people talk about that all the time, celebrate failures, failures are a thing for growth, but this just took it to a whole new level for me. I was like, yeah, exactly. It's exactly like in meditation when we bring ourselves back. It's not about like, oh, I managed to do this for half an hour and and or two hours or two days or two, whatever, like without the thoughtlessness mode and all of that. That's great. Sure. That's great. What is greater than even that is the ability to keep bringing yourself back because that's when you're growing. So, um, yeah, so the more you do, the more you push yourself in life and the more you um, do in life, that's the more you bring yourself back, the more you're growing. OK, <laughs> that's all I wanted to say. Um, wish you a day filled with lots of personal growth. Rati, rati.